Good morning. It's Saturday and uh, sun shining. It's nice out. Yesterday it was hit or miss. Uh, it was um, sunny and then it started raining and then it got sunny again and then it rained again. So it's kind of like one of those days. Uh, but I got a lot of work done. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm checking in and, um, I have to tell you, uh, getting off Lexapro, I'm going like right now, I'm getting those brain zaps and listen, I didn't think it would be tough because I'm like, I'm on 10 milligrams. So it's escitalopram. I'm on the generic form, but it's basically Lexapro and I've been going down like a deep dive into you know something I probably should have done before I went on it <laughs> and listen I'm just talking about my experience not everyone um you know is gonna deal with what I have but you know I was researching to the weight gain because if you don't know like I'm a personal trainer I studied nutrition and stuff like that and, um, you know, so when I was talking about weight before and people are like, oh, do this, do that. Yeah, I know. I've done fitness competitions and I work out all the time. Um, but I tell you, uh, you know, my doctor was like, well, Tracy, just eat less. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, doctor. Really? Yeah. Um, but the SSRI, and I'm sure in combination with me going through menopause, okay, um, is that it can... Some people can make you gain weight. Some people, it makes them lose weight. Um, I think more on the side of gaining weight because it, what it does is it um, it works on the serotonin receptors. You know, that's where you get that, you know, serotonin is where you get like that high, like the runner's high and stuff like that. And so it's like a blocker thing. And, um, uh, and it said that it can make you... Uh, crave, it made you not be able to talk. Uh, it can make you crave, um, like carbohydrates, pasta, uh, you know, anything carbs, sweets. And yeah, I know that sometimes I feel like, uh, that like my appetite is insatiable and I love like, you know, I crave like bread and sometimes I would even get up in the middle of the night to like have a piece of bread with peanut butter on it because I was so hungry. And I feel like just since yesterday that that feeling is starting to dissipate. So I'm hoping, but you know, like I said, just withdrawing from an anti-anxiety medication because that's what I took it for. <laughs> so while you're withdrawing, it causes anxiety figure that out uh we were actually in John's uh rig he made lasagna and I usually sit on the inside Key sits here and John sits there and I could not sit on the inside because I had too much anxiety I couldn't feel like I was trapped in and so I'm hoping I just finished like the last I've weaned myself down I thought by weaning that it would be a lot easier I can't imagine if somebody went cold turkey I'm no professional I am not giving anybody medical advice this is just my thing but I would highly recommend if you're on something weaning off of it because like I said I'm going through a lot in my moods I mean you know I had high anxiety before I went on it but I was never like moody or angry or you know stuff like that um and I suppose because it kind of like blocks your emotions and uh and I don't know, I just am irritable and that's part of the withdrawals. And it says it takes like usually two to eight weeks, <laughs> sometimes longer for some people, but these brain zaps are what are getting me. Um, hard to explain them and they are happening often. And um, then yesterday I had vertigo uh, and all I could do, you know, I was in the middle, I had a bunch to do yesterday and I had to lay down for like an hour because I just, um, so yeah, so it's tough. So, you know, give people grace who are, you know, like I said, this is 10 milligram to Lexapro. Can't imagine people who, and I almost thought, you know, when I first started and this is all the withdrawal symptoms started, 
like, is it better just to go back on it and not have to deal with this? But I'm like, no, if I'm going to get through it, I just want to get through it now and, um, and just be done with it. But I just want to tell you, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. So I can't imagine if, um, you know, you're trying to get off of like drugs or alcohol or stuff like that. Uh, I can understand now that not dealing with the withdrawals is a reason to want to keep doing it. Um, and I'm not comparing myself to that, but I'm just saying, if this is like what I'm going through just on that, I can't even imagine, you know, how hard that is. So, um, and uh, like I said, the weight gain, I'm starting to, I don't think, and you can actually gain weight after you go off it, like it fluctuates. I guess it screws with your metabolism. So, you know, I've been researching. Now I've gone down this hole. Instead of learning about the clams, I started going through this because um, I'm dealing with it now. But, um, so if you've been through this, uh, let me know or tell me like how long it lasted or what your symptoms were because um, I'm hoping that, you know, like I said, I'm more on the two-week side. I just finished like the last one of weaning off just like the beginning of this last week. It's Friday now. No, it's Saturday. <laughs> so um, I'll, I'll keep letting you know how it goes in case, you know, you're on something and you've thought about weaning. You know, it did its job. Like, am I, I, I you know, is, is it, do I wish I never had gone on it? No, because at the time really my anxiety was I woke up in a panic attack and so it really helped with that and so um like i said i just need to get through this and then i think once i'm through this and i get back home and i'm settled and feel all recovered from withdrawing from this um i am going to see my doctor about getting off the progesterone and estrogen because i'm already through menopause you usually use it like to help get you through or they say you can stay up to on it up to like five years um but you work with your doctor like it's all individual you know what i mean so again i'm not giving advice uh but i would like to be i would like to not have to take anything and like i said i am really starting to hone in on my eating and my exercise and um like getting all that in order <clears throat> oh i swallowed wrong oh i've been trying to quit soda too that's tough for me um but i drank this before and i've been drinking it again and i don't know it's probably not even better than soda probably it's just like it but i really like it mm. Mm, 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 mm. and tomorrow guess whose birthday it is it's case birthday okay oh and somebody asked too squirrel why I didn't, because I mentioned that I didn't go on the second dive because we had two tanks. Um, well, there was somebody on the boat. It was just, it, it was kind of a comedy of errors on the boat too. <laughs> there was somebody, so uh, it was a man with his son and the son like would just take off on him and you're supposed to be buddies. Like this is not like we weren't, we were diving alone. Like me and Keith were buddies. Do you know what I mean? There wasn't, it wasn't like Cozumel where we were, had somebody like, you know, we were in a group and they were showing us, you were on your own. And, um, and this guy, uh, so he had all the scuba gear and the sun took off and then he waited until everybody got off the boat and like people were already 15 minutes into their dive. And then you saw him like just on the surface, the sun never came back. So the sun was by himself too. And, uh, the captain said, yeah, they're technical diving or technical snorkeling. And I just like thought, oh, that I thought that was a term. <laughs> what it means is they have all the scuba gear, but they're basically just staying or he was on the top, you know, um, you know, but scuba diving can be scary. And here's the thing. That's why you stay with your partner, because you watch each other because they're currents and stuff like that. And uh, so I felt sorry for him. Um, just a lot of things. And Keith love him he didn't mean to he had all of his gear on we had all of our gear on we were going to get off the you know go over the boat to go on a second dive and he was looking for he had his you know scuba watch or whatever he couldn't find it and I'm standing up with all my stuff because it's heavy I mean the tank I mean when it's full it's heavy and so I was standing there and he was crouching down and he fell backwards 
and the edge of the tank and all his body weight hit the top of my foot right on that bone you know where your big toe is and it's like mm. it may have screamed out like an obscenity and then i just said he's like tracy i'm sorry i'm sorry and i couldn't even i'm like just you know and by that time because we were the last ones you know everybody had already gone off the boat at this time and at that point i'm just like no i'm I, i'm not in the headspace because you have to be in a good headspace to be underwater to be focused on your surroundings and uh so he went with three other people so he was the fourth in the group so that's why somebody had asked me that anyway um so it's Keith's birthday tomorrow, and we're going to have stuff to eat. People are coming over. Um, but look what I got. I got, so this one is rosé all day. So I thought I'd start with something a little um, less vibrant because I still have this one. And I was looking it up on TikTok, and these are pretty cool, although it seems like that they take a lot more than just... 15 washes to wash out, but I'm okay with that. Um, and I was going to do this today, but uh, I am in the middle of doing a bike review. And so I can't like have my hair different. I mean, I'm sure it really would matter, but uh, to do this. Um, so I'm doing a bike review and then I got reached out last, in the last couple of days. I have two more bikes coming. And speaking about bikes, sorry, I'm kind of rambling on, but I want to get this all in. And then the next clip will be Keith's birthday party because uh, I got a bunch to do today. But, um, uh, oh, the bikes. I just want to tell you, like, e-bikes, you know, yesterday was a real, or this past week. So um, there's a guy at the ranch, and um, he has epilepsy. And... You know, he never knows, like, you know, when he could have a seizure and stuff like that. And um, he has a normal bike. He had never ridden any bike before. And so um, he was like, can I ride it? I'm like, sure. You know, I got e bikes all over the place at the ranch. <laughs> and so he started riding the bike. And, um, and yeah. And so um, he's taking this one. And uh, he sold them to him for 200 bucks. I think it sells for like a thousand. Normally it's eighteen hundred. Uh okay. Came out. Hello. Sorry. This truck came up like on the curb on the median. Okay, whatever. Um and he has been riding all over. He wrote to town. Uh he's like, Do you want anything? And he just told me yesterday, he's like, Tracy. I feel like I got my freedom back and that's what it's done for him. It's helped him to be able to like go out and, um, geez, Louise. Sorry. If I think he's a bad driver, I think I just found somebody worse. It's this huge truck and they have a trailer on the back. What the? I'm going to turn this around. Okay, but, um, you know, and he's like, uh, Tracy, it's giving me my, my freedom back. And you could tell he was out. He's usually in his trailer and he's been out riding around. He's always on it. And yesterday he went to the town. Um, and so, uh, you know, I guess I haven't realized like, and then um, the lady, so I sold the trike and I put that on Marketplace. I must have had like 15 people reach out. Um and, you know, that's like 2000 bucks, 1800 And um, it all, I always feel like they go to the right people. Do you know what I mean? I kind of like put a vibe out there. Like, I hope it goes to, you know, somebody who really needs it. And um, this lady, John and John helped me and we brought it and met her. And you know, I said, oh, I'll meet you at three or whatever here. And she said, I feel like a kid at Christmas. And she was older. She's probably like 70, 75. They live in a fifth wheel, or she does. And um, she's like, yeah, it will just... And she looked like she may have some health issues. But um, uh, so she said, you know, again, it would give her freedom. And with the basket, she said, I have a dog. I'll put him in there. And then, you know. And so, um, yeah. And I guess I didn't realize um, 
and she had never ridden any bike before. So I was making sure. And that's the thing. So the guy at the ranch, he, uh, you know, you're having so much fun. And that thing, he it up to 27 miles an hour. Listen, at 15, I'm like, I think I'm going too fast. And he actually like kind of fell over. Like you have to be very careful. I mean, they still go really fast, you know, and I suggest a helmet. He did get a helmet, which is great. Um, but I really now am invested um, if I wasn't before, like before it was like, oh, it's how I make money to do my travels, you know? And now it's um, to do it to, okay, show people. You don't have to watch them because they do them separate. And then uh, to sell it to people so then they can afford them and, um, and it can really help them. So, you know, I've kind of found a new purpose for that you know, that, that I can help people. So that's why I said yes to these next two. And, uh, oh, I mean, I tried to make a heart appointment for Joy. I know, sorry, so much stuff. I, I've been really busy. I tried to make a heart appointment for Joy. Um, and do you know, this is how they do it now? Like, they're like, oh, we're full up till the end of April. And I said, well, that's fine. I said, I'm coming back anyway, I'm out of town. And, you know, it's not like a rush. Um, and she's like, oh no, maybe I worded it wrong. Uh, we're full up till April and the new schedule doesn't come out until like maybe try another three weeks. And she said that, um, she was, for instance, uh, this schedule just opened up last week and it was already full by the end of the day. It's the cardiology department. And I'm like, and she goes, I go, what? And she goes, yeah, she goes, listen, I tried to, so it's a line of healthcare. And she goes, I tried to make a, a dermatology appointment. And she said, they're booked out for a year. And they won't book out. Yeah, you know how you'd say, oh, okay, May, I'll t you know, like you just keep making the appointments through the time, like through November, whatever. Uh, no, they don't do it that way anymore. And it was the same way. I called the dentist because I'm having tooth problems back here. And, um, same thing. She said, we're full up till April. And she was, I can't even make an appointment until the new schedule comes out. And she said, they fill up like right away. Like, how is anybody getting to, into the dentist or the doctor or the dermatologist, the cardiologist? And I told her, I said, well, okay, I want a teeth cleaning and stuff. I go, that can wait. I go, but I have this tooth. So she got me in April 1st. So I for sure have to be back by April 1st for this appointment. And she said, there's no guarantee that they'll work on it that day. They're just going to look at it and assess it. And I'm like, okay, I'll take what I can get. But this is crazy. So any K, any K, oh my God. I haven't even drank. I haven't drank for like a week. Um, so, um, okay, well, I'm going to go. I have to go shop. I have going to the gym. Got a lot of things to do. But I will see you on the flip side. I'll see you at Keith's party tomorrow. And then uh, hopefully after that, I'm going to do this. So hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be that color. We'll see what happens. Okay. I'll see you. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Okay. Good morning. Although I don't know what time it is. I think it's before noon. But... Um, so I am doing, a, sorry it's loud, I'm on a corner, two busy streets, but I am doing an e-bike review. I will show you the e-bike right now. So it's this one, so that one will be up soon this week. So I have been wanting to stop at this, it's like a juice stand on the corner here, and, uh, and I just have never pulled over, and it's always busy, and now I understand why. So I took the e-bike and I rode it here, and this is fresh, lemon and cucumber and then on top there they're like little crisp with like sriracha on it and so it's like the spicy and the oh so I have really been struggling with this withdrawal you know from the Lexapro and I've had vertigo yesterday there was a happy hour I laid in bed I was up till three in the morning uh watching if you have Netflix watch one day oh my god there's 14 parts I thought I'd start it last night. I was up till three in the morning because I had insomnia anyway, finishing it. Ugh. 
it's like one of those beautiful love stories that you don't see much anymore, you know, like in a movie. So go to watch that one day on Netflix. Um, but uh, I couldn't get out of bed. I like I have vertigo and I have to lay down. But um, but I had to get finish this, and so I am so glad. If anything's going to cure me, I think this is it. And it's all fresh, and you can get um, so it's by the Texaco. And it's just him and he makes this fresh every day. Um, but you can get all kinds, coconut, uh, mango, pineapple. I said, I will be back. And then Jose, Jose, if you're watching, thank you. He was translating for me. And, uh, and then he, uh, I went to pay for it and he had paid for it for me. So Jose, thank you. And I think I found the nectar of the gods. Wow, look at how much you get. So, um, okay, today's uh, Keith's birthday. He's 50, sexy, plus two. <laughs> you know, when, he, when I met him, he was 50, turned 56. It was his birthday when I met him. And uh, he's like, I'm 50, sexy. Now that's Keith. And so now he keeps saying I'm 50, sexy, plus one. And now he's 50, sexy, plus two. So he's reached my age. He's 58 now. So we are getting together tonight. So. I'm gonna finish my ride here and uh, then I'm gonna go lay down and at least I can edit while I'm kind of laying down. And uh, although the fresh air riding did wonders for me. So, um, so yeah, cheers. Ooh, if you come to Florida, stop here. Okay, I'll see you soon. <laughs> We're at Keith's birthday party. Ooh, my hair is bad. Guess who caught it? <laughs> I know, but it's I was sweating, cooking, and everything. So, it, Keith, how old are you? Fifty, sexy plus, plus two. two. I yeah. already told him. That. When I first met you, it was right at his birthday, and now he's like, "I go, sexy. how old are you? Fifty, sexy." So every time you just add one to. Me. What are you gonna do when you? Oh, sixty, sexy. Yeah, I know, sexy point oh. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm glad uh, I'm glad you're my friend, and Same yeah, here. it's like our anniversary too. It is, yes, it is. It's our third John, anniversary. it's our anniversary. It's our third anniversary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the trio, the three that's amigos. That's yeah, yeah. That fateful day. Yeah, with Billy. But the day when your life fell apart, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Keith. We got lucky and there was a making gnocchi. Gnocchi. Keith makes his own. His own. Uh, <laughs> okay, folks. Uh, the uh, gnocchi's open. Okay, I'm back in the van and I bought these so that when I come in the door, they turn on. You know, they're like sensor stuff, so they're really bright. So sorry about that. But uh, yeah, so that was a good birthday for Keith. And, uh, yeah, I still am, uh, going through it. Uh, when I came back from the bike ride, I laid back there and I fell asleep hard for, I don't know, a couple hours. And you have these really weird, vivid dreams. I had a dream that there was a monkey in the van <laughs> and that, uh, it was a weird dream. But anyway, so I guess that's part of withdrawals too. And so I am actually going to do... A video on this. You know me, I do a deep dive and I've been researching and I think it's something that maybe other people would want to know about. Maybe not a lot of you because this is about van life, but again, it's just about van life for me is what I go through. It's not about the van. It's about the girl in the van and this is what I happen to be going through. And um, yeah, this withdrawal has been tough, 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 tough. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I've been through some tough things. But, um, yeah, my health is something that I take very seriously. And so uh, I'll keep updating you on how it's going and everything. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, it'll get better. We can only hope. Um, but I'm going to let you go here. And you, go out and make an adventure. No matter how big or how small. You don't have to sell everything and move into a van. You do not. But look at the nice people that you meet. We had a whole bunch of people up for Keith's birthday and they all shared. He made dinner and everything. And so, yeah, it was really nice. And uh, go call someone you love. And as Joy says, tell them that you love them. And don't you dare forget your magic. Okay. I will see you in the next one. Bye.